Hi there, welcome to my new Adobe Illustrator tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create these brushes and with these brushes you can draw roses like this. So I start with this first leaf. Please create with the ellipse tool new oval with black color. Now select left and the right point and convert it to corner. So now Select this point and move it to the left and select these two points and move it also to the left. OK. So now select this shape, go to Objects, Path and click on Add Anchor Points and do it once more. So next, with the Direct Selection tool, Select this point, hold the ALT key and move this like this. Make the same with this point. So now select this point, move it a little bit to the right, convert it first to smooth and now hold the ALT key and move this handle like this. So now transform this leaf. So that's OK. So this is my first leaf. Now make a copy. Hold the ALT key and move this shape above. So now select this point and move it to the right. Hold the ALT key and move this handle and this. Sorry. Okay. So now go to the brushes panel, click on the panel options and click on new brush, change it to add brush, click OK and set the brush scale options to scale proportionately and the colorization method to tints. OK. And now when you draw with this brush, oops, sorry. looks like this. So now make a copy, hold the ALT key and move it so, go to the transform panel and click on flip horizontal. And now create a new brush, add brush, OK scale proportionately and change this to tints. OK. So now make the same with this shape. Make a copy. If you like you can Make some variations. Mm. 
Now go to the brushes options, click on new brush, enable the art brush, click OK, change the scale options and change the colorization method to tints. OK. So next I create these two leaves, make a copy. So now select this point and move it to the left. Now we have to add a new anchor point. That's OK. And make a copy, select these two points and move it to the right. Okay. So now select this shape, click on New Brush, Art Brush, change the scale options and the color. OK, make the same with this shape. OK, let's take a look what we have done. So we have this brush, looks like this, and this brush. So next we have this brush, and this brush. And last, this brush. Oops, sorry. Please make a double click on this brush and change the direction from left, uh, from right to left. This, OK. Apply the strokes and now this brush, uh, all right. So next I'm going to create these three simple shapes. Choose the ellipse tool and create an oval like this. So now select this point, move it a little bit down and up, a little bit more. So next make a copy and move these points to the left. Make new copy and now go to the transform panel and click on flip horizontal. Okay and delete this. So now before you create a brush from these shapes, it's very important that you scale these shapes because this size is one point when you br brush uh, paint with these brushes. Okay, so first select this shape.
click on new brush, add brush, OK. So the brush skill options is stretch to fit stroke length and change the colorization method to tints. OK, and make the same with the other shapes. Now it's time to create the rows. Please choose the paintbrush tool, change the color to black stroke and none fill. So now select and choose this brush and start with the drawing. OK, now select these two lines and change the stroke wide to 1.3. And now select these two lines and change it to 1.5. OK, now select all these lines go to objects and click on expand appearance and now go to the brushes panel and click new brush add brush ok important to change the scale brush scale options to scale proportionately and the method to tints ok So this is a rose brush. Oops, sorry. Make a double click on your brush and change the direction to stroke from bottom to the top. Click OK, apply the strokes. And now you can see your rose brush is work correctly. So at last I'm going to create this shape. Please choose the rounded rectangle tool and create new shape like this. Now choose the erase tool, make a double click on this tool and set the size to 112 and the roundness to 20%. Click OK. Now you can delete from this shape okay now choose the ellipse tool and create new oval like this and transform it so. Please hold the ALT key and you can transform this handle. So now make a copy. Oops. Hold the ALT key and move these copies.
Now flip this copy vertical, go to the transform panel and click on flip vertical. So now select all these shapes, go to Pathfinder and click on Unit. By the way, you can find the Pathfinder here by Window and click on Pathfinder. So now I'm going to create a brush from this shape. Click New Brush, Art Brush, and change the scale options and the colorization method to tints. OK. OK, now you can start with your drawing. Choose this brush and Make a line, so, and create here a new line. So now choose the rows and create here a new rows and here. For example, this leaf. And you can use this brushes and create swirls. So now choose this brush and change the stroke white to this size and now you can create new leaves here. Now I'm finished. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, please press thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you want to see more of my tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Hope to see you soon.